Is it right? Can I take my shoes off? No, keep your shoes on, Kay. At the dentist. Boo! Oh! Boo! I said boo! Boo! Are you gonna clean your teeth? Yeah. Yeah. Look at my teeth. Let me see. <laughs> they took this picture of him. I want it. Look at this cute picture. Uh oh. Whoops. Can I see it? Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> they took this cute picture of him. I'm trying Thanksgiving cookies. All right. What What is today? The first day of November. The first day of November. Halloween and October are over. So what do we always make on the first day of November? Turkeys. Turkeys. Come oh, down and see. Turkeys. Come down and see our turkeys made. Yep. So we made two turkeys this year. We did it last year too. One for Grayson and one for Porter or Switch, whatever. These are turkeys, and we have, where did I put them? Oh, here they are, our feathers. And every day we're gonna make a new feather of something we're thankful for. So we gotta think, what are you guys thankful for? And we'll write it on these feathers. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta tell me, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my family. Okay. I think it's for your family. Well, you gotta sp think of something different, Porter. Think of something different. I think it for. What's something that you love? Mommy and Daddy. Mommy and Daddy? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna write those on our turkeys. I don't like this on your turkeys. Well, you don't know how to write, so I'll write for you, okay? Okay. And I know already how to write. Porter, what? where did we go today? Trick or treat. No, not trick or treat. That was yesterday. Where did we go this morning? Yeah. Where did you go? To the dentist. To the dentist? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah? So I don't know how this worked out, but Porter had his very first dentist appointment today, the day after Halloween, probably the worst day you could go to the dentist because the day before all you're doing is eating candy. But that was like the earliest appointment they had available because Porter is like a new patient. So yes, we took him to his first dentist appointment today. He did amazing. I wait until my kids are three because they're just hot messes until then. So Porter turned three in September. I called in September. The earliest appointment they have was November. This dentist is just very popular and they're amazing. So I understand why. They just like showed him all the tools and how everything worked and like they're very kid friendly. They have TVs above the chairs so the kids can watch um, any Disney movie. They have like Disney Plus. So they have Moana playing, which my kids love Moana. So Porter was so pumped to watch it. And they give him cool sunglasses to wear because they've got the light shining on the mouth. So they they did the cleaning and Porter did amazing. He just laid, he didn't move at all, he didn't flinch. When they told him to open, he opened. When they told him to like move his tongue around, he did. He did amazing. They said all his teeth look great. They actually said his back teeth are still erupting, like still coming through the gums, which blew my mind because I thought you got all your teeth by like age two, but apparently not, or not for Porter at least. But that does make sense because he's been drooling a lot lately and I haven't understood why. I thought maybe there was something wrong with his mouth. No, it's just he's teething as a three-year-old. Like that blows my mind. But other than that, they said he did awesome. He does suck his finger, so we're working on stopping that because that can affect teeth and all that. So we're, we are gonna try to stop that, but he got a uh, sugar-free sucker at the end and he got to pick a prize and like all this extra stuff so he loved it he can't wait to go back we'll go back with him in may he'll start going every six months grayson goes in february they both love the dentist you guys Mommy. i hate the dentist it's actually been several years since i've been to the dentist because i hate it so much but my kids love the dentist which makes sense they make it like an awesome experience i think if i had that experience as a kid 
I would love it. And it's not like I had a bad experience at the dentist. It just wasn't as kid friendly as what my kids are at right now. But it is what it is. So anyway, that's what we did this morning. I feel like I've been so busy. I haven't even been able to like pull out the camera other than like our thankful turkeys, which I'll show you. We put them up on the wall. So here's our thankful turkey. This one's Porter and this one's Grayson. Hey, this one's Porter. Shocker. <coughs> I made the first, technically I guess I made the is first on both feathers. This I was shocked. Mine. Yeah, this leave it on. Mine. Yep, so every day we're gonna add a feather to our turkey of something we're thankful for, huh? And even tomorrow. Even tomorrow. I got this idea from Busy Toddler. I think this is the third year now that I've done the turkeys. The kids love doing it. You only do it, well, for the month of November, but I really only do it up until Thanksgiving, and then I'm like, okay, I'm over it. Um, but the kids love doing it. It's a really easy thing to do. You just do it once a day, and yes. it's fun fun to see what they come up with in past years like last year I didn't even make a feather at all on either kids turkey um but it's fun to see what the kids come up with because it'll be like markers or the color blue or just like lots of random stuff that they come up with so in a couple years once Avery's big enough I'll have three thankful turkeys up on my wall but for now we just have two I'm actually getting ready to feed Mommy. Avery a new food. Oh. We're gonna introduce a new food to her tonight and her new food is going to be peas. I've got this jar of peas and we are going to feed it to her and try. I think if I remember correctly, the boys liked peas okay. She likes green beans, so I would assume that she likes peas too, but we are gonna try it and figure it out. I'm gonna put her down and then I'll get the camera back out and show her. But first, Grayson wants to show us something. This is the whistling star me. I love you. Oh, I love that, Grayson. Let's listen if we. I don't know. So Grayson lately has been loving this little writing pad. We got it from Santa last year. I think Porter actually got it. But Grayson just loves writing stories, writing, um, drawing pictures, anything, you name it, he loves. Usually he'll do math problems on here with daddy. He loves this little dry erase pad. <laughs> oh my gosh, Porter, no, 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 no. You cannot put that on the baby. All right, well, that's the chaos going over here. Porter put his medical bag on Avery's head. Thankfully, it doesn't really seem to have phased her. I just got her down to diaper because we're doing baths tonight. And Where is it? Oh. hi, Avery. Avery. <laughs> and so I might as well just get her naked now. What'd you draw now? Three plus three equals six. Three plus three equals six. You guys, I don't even think I've updated it on here. Grayson is now doing multiplication, which is crazy. He's been doing double digit and triple digit addition. And now he's doing multiplication. I actually have a video that Anthony took the other day. It is like up and down, so sorry for the quality. But I'll input that here. We're doing math multiplication. Multiplication? <laughs> How old are you, Gray? I'm five. Okay, let's do a multiplication question. Let's do... Hmm. Let's do four times four equals. Show me how you do that. Yeah, so he is super smart. All of his friends are learning to count to 20 and he's on to multiplication now. This is not me in him. This is Anthony. Anthony said like at preschool he was doing multiplication. He's just smart like his daddy, which is awesome to see. And we'll never have to worry about him in school, I don't think. I mean, we'll see what the future holds. But anyway, it's been awesome to see his smarts. But anyway, I'm going to get Avery in the high chair and we'll see what she thinks of peace. Okay, Avery, are you ready? Here's your peace. Mmm. What's Avery say? Green peas. 
don't know. What do you think? Do you think she likes it? What do you think? I think it's negative. I think it's negative two. Seven minus twelve. Nope, it's not negative two. Try again. Um, but I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. What do you think, Gabe? Do you like green peas? I counted it and there's two. It's not two. Why? Okay, update on Avery. I think she likes the peas. She's not complaining. She's eating them. She's fitting them out a little bit, but she does that with everything. What do you think? Do you I like think peas? It's negative 10. Yum, yum. I think it's negative 10. 10 minus 20 equals negative 10. Good job, Grayson. Good girl, Aves. Good girl. Oh, oh. <laughs>